guys, welcome back. So I'm just gonna jump right into this tutorial. So for my primer, I am using Becca Cosmetics Backlit Primer, and this has like a nice glowy effect. So I'm gonna put this all over my face, and it's just gonna make my skin kind of glow with my foundation and everything on. For foundation, I'm using number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. This foundation is pretty good. It's very affordable, and it, you can get it at Ulta or I think even like some drugstores. But it's I like it because it's very smooth and it blends well, and it gives like medium coverage, so I can cover all the blemishes that I need to with it. I'm using Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte, which I'm obsessed with, and I have been since I got it. This concealer is pretty amazing. It is very good for doing highlighting and contouring. It covers like everything and it's also very brightening. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting it like under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and my forehead and, and then on my chin. And I'm pretty much bringing it, like I'm putting it on the parts of my face that I want to um, stand out, like that I want to highlight. I'm just blending this concealer in really well and then later I will be doing some contour with powders. I know it looks like super fast but I'm actually taking the time to like blend it fully everywhere and like patting it in and just making sure it's basically blended really well. This is Master Fix Setting Powder by Maybelline and because I'm going to be using powders for my contour and bronzer and everything, I'm just going to set everything now and then later I'll be doing all of that bronzing and highlight and everything. So this is a good setting powder, it's translucent and it just like nicely will set my foundation and keep it in place. If I were going to be using a cream contour, I would not be doing this and I would have done that first and then I would set everything. Now for my brows, I'm going to start by lining them, and this is by CoverGirl. I'm pretty sure this is like an eyeliner, it's like a brown eyeliner pencil, but I use it for my eyebrows because it just works really well, and I start with lining the bottom part up to the arch, and I'll do that like on both sides, like I'll go back and forth between different eyebrows so that I can try and keep them even, that works for me. So I'll line the top of them also to just like kind of give an outline of where they're going to be filled in. Oops. And then I'm just going to fill them in by doing like super light strokes in the direction that my eyebrows go, like my little eyebrow hairs. And then kind of bring it out at the ends and then get the arch all like on point. And then I'm going to just do like the final fill in. So next I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Guys, this stuff is super good. Like, it's actually awesome. And it's lasted me forever. It is, um, it is, um, what am I saying? So basically, I just use like a little angle brush and I just fill in my eyebrows with it with doing like light strokes. And it's really great. It's also really great if you are kind of lazy or not even if you're lazy, but if you don't want to use a brow pencil, then you can just use this to do your eyebrows and it also works pretty good. It's also super easy to use and like user friendly if you're not even like a makeup pro. I love this stuff. <laughs> now for my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, just to like complete my brows, make them look bold and keep them in place. So now for the Morphe palette of goodness. This is the Morphe 350 palette and this palette is awesome. It's full of a bunch of warm tones. And I'm taking just some super light, like the lightest colors that they have in this palette, just to put all over my eyelids as a base. And bring out the Jaclyn Hill palette because it's so good. So I'm taking the color Butter and I'm just blending that all up in the crease of my eyelid and blending it and blending it. And then for a darker color, I am using Buns. This is the name of it right there. And I'm putting that in like the outer corner of my eyelid and then I'm just blending it up more so I just want it darker there that is the color buns again so I'm making it dark and just blending it really really well so now to make it pop I'm gonna be using this electric palette by Urban Decay and I'm taking that like hot pink color and just lightly though like I didn't put too much I'm like lightly blending it into the crease and I'm gonna just blend it nicely on both of them and 
really work it in there, but I really love this palette because it's so pigmented. And then that is the orange that I just took. It's the bright orange color that's in that palette. And now I'm just blending that all over and nicely so it kind of like blends out up to my brow bone. And then I'm going to put a pop color on the lid. So again, using the Jaclyn Hill palette, she has the best pop color. That one is called In Light. And it's just like the perfect shimmery pop color is the best way to describe it. Um, Champagne-y type of color. So I'm just putting that, I'm using my finger. I'm putting that on my eyelid. Next, I'm taking the color Roxanne, and I just dabbed it also a little bit in the darker color of this. Um, and I'm just using that just to make it a little bit darker, a little bit darker, like right in the corner corner. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my fluffy blending brush. I'm just like blend, 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 blend. So I'm taking Roxanne and Buns, these two colors for the bottom lash line, and I'm just blending it out and kind of like buffing it out so it looks seamless. And it just like completes the eye look and kind of makes it look balanced. I like to always do the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the color Beam for my brow bone and I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a pop up there and then I'm going to blend everything, like a final blend, because blending is key. So for eyeliner, I'm going for a pretty intense, bold look. So I'm using the Lord & Berry eyeliner pencil in black and I am gonna be lining, basically lining my waterline and like, gonna pretty much smoke it out. And the inside, I'm gonna spare you like watching all of it, but I'm pretty much just like, totally lining all of my eyes. All of them, like all, all, however many of them. Ha, <laughs> um, that was a dumb joke. Okay, so I'm just using this eyeliner to pretty much completely line my eyes. This is a good eyeliner to use because it blends well and it like, goes on very smoothly and it's not annoying to use and it's just it just blends well. So I'm going to do that and then get some false lashes going because I want my eyes super intense. Before the false lashes go on I'm just curling my eyelashes and then putting a little bit of mascara on the top lashes and then just doing my bottom eyelashes. For our falsies I'm using Red Aspen Love eyelashes and um, she actually, they sent these to me to try them, and these eyelashes are intense. They are intense. They were a little bit difficult to put on, um, just because the, like, the edge is a little bit thicker. So you just have to make sure that, like, you get it on really well, and then kind of, like, hold it, basically. They're just not as, um, they're not as, like, flimsy, I guess. But anyways, I managed, and I got them on, and they looked bomb, and my eyelashes were super intense so all in all I actually love them and I've used them several times like I still um, I was able to reuse them like many times before actually I think I still have them now I'm using my Estee Lauder mascara just to like fully blend in my lashes my falsies with my real lashes and did you see how intense these lashes are yes Using my Wet n Wild Highlight and Contouring Palette, this thing was like four bucks, guys, and actually this was the first time I was using it, and I like it. I, I do. I like it. I can't complain. So I was just taking the lighter color, like the highlight color, just to kind of put it on, you know, the lighter part of my face, and now I'm taking the contour, and look at it. Look at it. It's actually nice, and it blends well. I like it, especially for like a four dollar purchase. I wasn't going to complain. So what I like to do with my contour is just like lightly bring it along my jawline underneath and then make sure it blends down my neck and everything into my chest because you just like want to make sure that you blend and you don't have like a tan face and a white neck or something. Um, and then I'll do like the top of my forehead and with a little brush ever so slightly just do it along the bridge of my nose and it kind of just, just gives it more of like a defined look. For blush, I am taking this little Tarte blush palette. This is called Parte, that's like the name of it. And it's like a cute pink color, so I'm just blending it on the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. Highlight, I'm using this Ocalon Glowing palette, and I had to put it on a freeze frame because I literally just showed it so fast so you guys could actually see it. But this palette, I got this off of the website Hush, or the app, so it was like super cheap and I actually really like this highlight. So if you want a super cheap 
nice highlight, then you could totally check this brand out. I think Hush is a little hit or miss though, because some of the stuff isn't really going to be good quality, but that one was good. For my lips, I am using NYX Lip Liner, and this is their suede lip liner, which is awesome. I love their lip liner. It's like $4 for one of these, and they are they work really, really well. And this is in the color Life's the Beach. Get it? Um, it's really cute. And then I'm basically just putting this Shimmer Lip Balm by Burt's Bees over it. This one is called Grapefruit, so I'm just putting this on, and then I'm going to use my lipstick from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Creme de Nude which is like the best nude lipstick in the world. And I'm just putting that on top because I just want like a nude look. And then I'm done. And that is the final look, guys. Bam. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And give it a share, give it a like, give it some comments and all that stuff. And keep watching my channel, guys. Thank you.